In this video, we're going to go over the info layer paint mode, the or the terrain info layer paint mode, and Giants Editor. And basically, this is so that you can set your farmlands and a few other things here. Uh, now, once you've clicked the info layer paint mode, just like the other tools, it will automatically go to that uh, selection. Okay, so as far as your settings here go your opacity and your hardness don't really matter and then you either have your add or subtract um, the add and subtract does work in this case there is no smoothing because it's either one color or the other in most cases okay so oh and your brush size you do get you do have control over your brush size so you can make it bigger or smaller okay and right now we have the info layer for the environment selected and this one's a little bit tricky to get working there we go there's near water and then that's um no water so blank is no water white is uh, near water in this case and i believe this has something to do with the way the fog is generated i haven't really dug into it deep enough to know for sure uh, and then, so we got open land, city, village, harbor, industrial, and open water. So you kind of select uh, which which one you're doing. Most cases you'll have the open land and then no water. And it looks like everything is that by default in this map, which is fine. So you got a few things there. And I do believe that's related to like the fog and such. Okay. And then we have farmlands. This is the buyable area in the... In this case, we have one viable area, so it's one big farmland. And if you decide that you want to do more than one, uh, you can select them from the list here. So, for example, uh, if I do Control R on any given um, color, it will automatically go to that color and turn it white, which means it's selected. See, farm one, one, farmland one is selected here. So let's change it to two. We can draw it. Farmland three, draw it. That was almost a bad drawing. Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay. Uh, farmland four. Five. And so on. Okay. And you can also change this to a square brush if you'd like. And I believe if you click and hold. Oh, yeah. So you can do the click and hold and then hold shift. So click, hold, left click, hold. And then hold shift and then you can create a, a straight line either uh, one way or the other okay you can also click and then you hold shift and then you can click anywhere on the map and it'll automatically do that angle so you can do that in here you can do that in the paint mode which i forgot to include that in that video whoops my bad uh, but that is a option in this so that one works with the the info layer the terrain paint and the foliage just so you know but anyway so let's say we want to do this first color again we'll go there and then you can draw your farmland area and this just like i said tells the game that you can buy this land okay um uh, we'll go ahead and just make it all one white again i've been told haven't really messed with it because i've kind of trusted the other creators do not undo in this one. So if you make a mistake, don't undo. Just use the opposite color to fix your your mistake. Okay. So let's say you got that, and then you're doing two. Oh. We'll do a straight line here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And uh, you accidentally do that, right? So don't undo, just control R on this other one and then fix it, do it that way. That's, that seems to be the better way to fix mistakes like that, okay? Um, and you can do that, but I just erased that. So now the game is gonna complain that I have a farmland that is not painted. So do not want to do that, okay? So we want to make sure that they are 
all farmlands and all pixels on this uh, this view here have a farmland drawn on them. And then non not buyable. So anything that's painted here, uh, folks cannot buy. So it's like your shop and you know the areas that you don't want players buying. Okay. And what else we have in here? Indoor mask. I did not update these before I pushed the map to GitHub. I'll I'll try and update them soon. But uh, if you do use our map, our uh, flat maps or blank maps or whatever you want to call them, from our GitHub, just keep in mind that our indoor mask and a couple of others still have the default uh, river bend in them. And you can easily just come in here, uh, control R, oh, hang on, indoor. Yeah, there we go. And in this case, I am right clicking to get rid of the white, okay? So that way, if I click on outdoor, it makes it white. So it's either you select the zero, basically, either you select this or you don't, okay? So I'm not gonna worry about doing that right now. Uh, navigation collision. Okay, so indoor mask. This is, so anywhere where it is uh, marked as indoor, snow will not fall or will not uh, pile up. So that's where the snow is not. And Giants wants us to do that on all the roads, all the main roads, and like the shop area and the gas station, places like that, where um, snow normally would not fall. Okay. But anyway, moving on. Navigation collision. I think this has something to do with the AI. Uh, tip collision. This is, you can only tip or dump stuff out of like your trailers and such on the white here. Uh, tip collision that was generated. I think that's the same case there. Placement collision. This doesn't allow you to place down buildings on the roads or your placeables or what have you and generated. I guess this is where the trees would be. Uh, and then field type. And that, this is for rice fields. I haven't really messed with the rice fields yet, but I believe you have to paint down the rice field itself. Um, that way the game knows where the rice field is if you're creating the rice fields uh, in the map. Okay. So yeah, that's how you use the uh, the lovely info layer paint mode in Giants Editor 10. It's pretty simple. And uh, there are ways to add more uh, more of these to it to do things such as the field dimensions and a couple other things, but I haven't quite figured, got that script working properly. So for now, I would suggest using our spline to field script and it works rather well. So yeah, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you'd like to see more of these, let us know. And if there's anything specific you would like us to cover, uh, be sure to comment below what that is. And uh, yeah, appreciate you watching.